Welcome back. We have with us now the Diva Defender, Miss Vanessa Davis. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay. So can you explain to me that term Diva Defender? Oh, absolutely. Diva Defender is my company. Um, I started it in 2009 to empower women to proactively manage their safety. So I sell personal safety products as well as do self-defense classes and products like um, stun guns, pepper sprays, um, tasers, personal alarms, that kind of thing, mainly online at my website, www.divadefender.com, um, but also at gun shows, at home parties, at meetings, trade shows, that kind of thing. So I also do a couple of classes. One is called Refuse to Be a Victim, which is a comprehensive um, workshop that focuses on prevention and, aware and awareness. Um, it's about three hours. I teach that at Prince George's Community College. And then starting next year, I'll be offering a women's self-defense boot camp mm -hmm. every month that will focus on self-defense um, from a woman's perspective. Okay, cool. Is there a certain time or place that we are most prone to danger? Well, you know, it used to be. Um, okay. used to be the dark alleys, you know, the abandoned, the isolated stairwells and that kind of stuff. But in today's environment, that's just not the case anymore. I mean, we are subject to be at risk almost anywhere and everywhere. I mean, the crooks are crazy and they're lurking around all kinds of corners, even in the best of neighborhoods, at church, at work, you name it, and they are there. So it's really more important that we are alert all the time and that we are aware of our surroundings and, and what's going on. What's interesting is a lot of the statistics that people aren't aware of, especially women, I mean, 80 percent of rapes um, happen near your, in a victim's home. Fifty percent of rapes are, uh, happen um, from a friend. I mean, most victims of crime are men. Cars are stolen most after midnight. You know, those are the kinds of things that we need to be aware of all the time. Can we do something about it? Absolutely. And the key is to be aware of your surroundings, to be prepared in the event that you find yourself under attack, and to be cautious all the time. Okay, so is there a certain time of the year where we see an increase in crime and attacks? Or? Oh, now you know that that's now. I mean, the holiday season, Christmas. So why is that? Because the opportunities are abundant. I mean, crooks are lazy. I mean, they're looking for low risk and high return. We hand it to them a lot of times on a platter. And we go to the mall, we put our packages in the car in the back seat, we don't lock the door, and we go off to the next door. You know, we um, decorate our home so beautifully for the holidays, and then what do we do? We open the blinds and the curtains so that everybody <laughs> sees that we have a gorgeous <laughs> Christmas tree with all of those expensive gifts under it, and just inviting a crook to come in and take advantage of that in the parking lots and shopping malls. I mean, women, I encourage them to wear purses that allow their both hands to be free, which is the purses that go across your body. And so things like that. This is a high um, crime season during the holidays. Okay. So what are some easy and effective ways to protect ourselves from potential attacks? Okay. Well, I am Diva Defender, so I call it being Divas. So I'll just break that down for you. So D is for defending yourself. 60% um, of attacks are stopped because the intended victim decided to defend themselves and fight back. 70% of the attackers don't even have a weapon, which is very different than the information that we're accustomed to hearing. Um, so that's the D in Divas. The I is inflict pain. Um, while the attacker is paying attention to the pain you've inflicted, now you have an opportunity to get away, which is your goal always. How do you inflict pain? So here are some things. Here's a stun gun. It looks like a cell phone. So you turn it on, press the button, and you stick it to him. So now while he's in pain, now you can go. So the V, voice of resistance. Um, the police use it all the time. That's their number one weapon. Stop, get out the car, show me your license. So what are they doing? They have a very strong, aggressive voice, and we as women need to adopt the same. And it's stop, no, get back. You know, what does that do? That tells the attacker that you're not going to be the easy victim. But it also in, in, um, generates a witness-rich environment. So if there are people around, 
now they are more likely to pay attention to see what's going on, at least gather information for you. Ideally, <laughs> you know, they would come and help you. But in today's environment, a lot of people are resistant to, reluctant to do that, right. which is all the more reason why we, women in particular, have to be willing to proactively manage our safety. So that's the V. The A, two things. One is, once you've decided to defend yourself, you have to attack quickly. You can't give him a chance to be on the defensive. He picked you because he probably thought that you were vulnerable and you were not gonna respond. But when you do, you gotta be quick and deliberate about it. The other thing it goes to avoidance is having an attitude. An attitude that says, today is not the day and I am certainly not the one. And so how we do that is how we walk, we pay attention, we're establishing eye contact and the like. Okay. So can you tell me a little bit about some of these items you have set out? <laughs> Absolutely. These are my toys. Well, not really, because um, your safety and security is serious business. But this, believe it or not, is a stun gun. Okay. 2.5 million volts, operates very easily. Slide out the plug, plug it in the wall. Nice. Okay. And so it stays charged for a month or two. And you turn it on, press the button, and you just stick it to the attacker. So once again, you're inflicting pain. So this one I showed earlier, it's a sun, it's a self, looks like a cell phone, but it's really a stun gun. Also pepper spray. I mean, a lot of people are familiar with that. It's in the leather case, just flip it and spray. But what they probably aren't familiar with is this one. These are one pound hand weights. So if you're a walker or a runner, then this one, just put your hands through here, and here's the trigger for the pepper spray. So you're running or walking with your one pound hand weight, so if somebody attacks you, now you can spray them with the pepper spray, or you can beat them in the head wow. with the weight. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, okay, well, seems like you got a you know, wide variety. Um, is there anything that particularly inspired you to start this whole crusade against violence, or? Well, um, actually, I have to give my husband credit for that. Okay. Um, I'm out and about, like most women in my age group, and probably yours too, with reckless abandon. Okay. And he was actually a little nervous about that and wanted me to carry a gun, which I didn't want to do. So he took me to a gun show on Valentine's Day 2009, how romantic, mm -hmm. and bought me a 2.5 million volt pink wow. stun gun. So as I told my friends about the stun gun, they all got excited and they wanted a stun gun. And so, voila, here we are two years later with Diva Defender. Okay, sounds fun. And you said something about classes in the beginning. Now, yes. what were the classes again? Like, can you kind of break down what goes on? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So the first one is Refuse to Be a Victim. It's a course that was developed by NRA. And who better than National Rifle Association than to tell us how to be safer? Um, they developed this class mainly for women who did not, who weren't interested in carrying firearms. But it's a whole comprehensive um, classroom workshop that talks about how to be safe in all aspects of your life, at home, at work, on vacation, traveling, you know, in the car and the like. So it's about three hours. It's at um, Prince George's Community College. The next one's coming up in April and then one in June. Um, the other that I'm most proud of, though, is starting January the 21st. It's a women's self-defense boot camp. Oh, okay. And so that one focuses really on self-defense. Refuse to be a victim is more about prevention and avoidance. So the boot camp is really about defending yourself in the um, unlikely and unwanted event that you are attacked. And so in the boot camp, we talk about, I call it get your mind right. And that's helping women to empower themselves and feel confident that they can in fact fight off an attacker in the event that they find themselves in that situation. And then also f doing physical self-defense moves. We show them 10 things that they can do to um, turn that attacker back and survive hopefully safely. 
Okay, so that's kind of a way how they learn how to defend themselves, even if they don't have weapons. Right, even if, because we always have weapons. I mean, our bodies are weapons. True. So your hands, your fists, your feet, your knees, all these things are weapons. Um, the other thing I like to tell women is that we think about ourselves as being vulnerable, but once you make the decision that you're going to defend yourself, your attacker actually becomes the vulnerable person because when they approached you, they were on the offensive because they were so sure you weren't going to fight back. So now they're vulnerable, and so their eyes, their ears, their throat, their chest, mm -hmm. their growing area, the front of their legs, the top of their feet, all of this becomes vulnerable and accessible, especially for women. They're more likely to try to protect that from men, but not from women. Okay, and is this, are these kind of classes that you were talking about earlier, are they open to all ages, um, you know, starting from 18 and up? Is you know, is it only for maybe older or younger or men, female, like, how does okay. that go? Well, the Refuse to Be a Victim, the classroom one, is comprehensive co-ed okay. um, easily. It talks about all aspects of everybody's life. The women's self-defense is only for women but 18 and older. Um, and I've gotten, you know, rave reviews about it. Um, I'm pretty excited to be able to offer it once a month next year, and it's going to be right around the corner from here okay. in Largo at the Hampton Inn on Saturday mornings from 9 to 12. So for more information, folks can easily go to my website, divadefender.com, go to the training tab. It'll take you right to the page. Not only can you get the details, but you can also register online. Okay, that's exciting. Okay. Um, well, we'd like to thank you for coming on today to kind of help us figure out ways we can protect ourselves. Okay, thank you for having me, Jasmine. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. We would like to once again thank all of our guests for joining today and sharing some tips that can help us throughout the year. I hope we helped our viewers at home learn something that perhaps they weren't previously familiar with. Once again, my name is Jasmine Hall, and we will see you next time on the Bowie Youth Showcase.